Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, where we are attempting very, 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 uh, uh, <laughs> our do not kill Jeb, which has been slightly successful thus far. Uh, Jeb is not dead. There have been a lot of close calls, but, uh, especially during streams, but Jeb is 100% alive at the moment, at least I'm pretty sure he is. Yes, yeah, so Jebediah Kerman is alive and has a slight amount of experience. I remember we took a ton of contracts to get money. Uh, these should be easy ones. How much money? Oh, we needed to upgrade this, which we're going to do, leaving us with so little money that we are actually in trouble if we actually have to do anything. We kind of have to get in orbit this time. If we can find our... Is this the one that was going to bring us to orbit? Yeah, this was it. This is the one chance we have at orbiting and not completely losing all of our money and losing the game. So, it's very questionable whether or not this will work. But we're just going to pray and... Uh, Hopefully that's enough So we're just going to save and launch Once again, uh, we kind of left off last time on a cliffhanger because if this doesn't go well, we are absolutely in trouble So before we start we're going to check all of our staging so we got two Oh two of these are liquid fuel and two are solid fuel. Yeah, I forgot about that. So these two go and this should actually go after these are off. Um, then that, and then that. Okay, let's do this. Five, four, three, two, one. And the rocket has begun. So currently things are going well. We are gaining height pretty quickly. We are not flipping over in a random direction. And Jeb is alive. Things are going in the correct order too. The solid fuel is going to run out before the liquid fuel as planned. As soon as the solid fuel goes out, we're going to switch to tilting. Here we go, and tilt maneuver to begin our orbiting. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay guys, I think we actually have a chance here at getting into orbit. Um, Let's just do a full power burn at this trajectory for a little bit. And admire the fact that we are actually doing well. Well enough at least. Uh, we should hope to go at least on this stage out of the atmosphere, which it looks like we will somewhat. Maybe not, maybe not as much as we want, uh, want to, but good enough for our purposes. Okay, so we're on to our last liquid fuel stage. It seems that we're still pushing up the apoapsis quickly enough. We have a lot of fuel left, and we're just going to tilt a little bit further to try to push as much of an orbit as possible here. I'm not worried about altitude. So keeping an eye on our fuel reserves. Tilting a little bit further. We've got a nice incline going here. Make sure that no fuel's being sucked out of that stage, which it isn't. Now we're ready to cut our fuel. Uh, we'll burn. And we're going to time warp up. We are now in space. Ish. 
It's not letting me time warp as if we're in space, though. Here we go. So now we're going to time warp up. We're going to stop before we hit the apoapsis. We're going to do a full apoapsis burn until we reach orbit. And that should basically, uh, well, finish us off here. Turn on the engine and pray that we have enough. Which we do. We certainly do. Because we have a full stage after this one. And even though we have to deorbit with that stage as well. Yes, here we go. Let's make it nice and circular. Uh, we have 170 on this side. Eh, that, that may be good enough for me. I'm not going to get picky. We are actually in orbit now. We have our last stage here, so we're fine. Um, now we're going to get science. Science. More science. Even more science. We're going to get a crew report from Jeb. Jeb is very happy about the fact he's actually in space. We're going to keep an eye on our food, water, and stuff. We should be fine for now. The only thing I'm worried about is electricity, which we are using, but not too quickly. And we are going to plan to re-enter on the day side of Kerbin so that we can see what we're doing. So we're going to go up to here. I'm going to slow things down. And we're just going to go and burn at the periapsis. Okay, turn a little bit further. There is the periapsis, and we're just going to stop right there. And I think we have to activate the stage. I'm scared to press space. Okay, yep, there we go. And that's going to slow us down, bringing us out of orbit. Hmm. <clears throat> That's a very harsh burn, but that'll bring us down pretty much on the crater, which would be a wonderful place to land for science purposes. So now we are going to eject our stage. Oh god, I thought we didn't have a heat shield for a moment and I got really scared. Our heat shield actually doesn't have as much a blader as I'd like it to have. Uh, I did that to save weight. Jeb, I hope you are ready for this because this is going to be an interesting re-entry. We're coming in at a very slight angle, which means we're coming in very, very... Well, it's n literally not coming in hot. It's the opposite, but it is actually going to be hotter than coming in hot, so... I don't know the proper, the proper term to use for it. It's kind of the opposite of what you think it is. Um, Jeb, you are now in the process of re-entering. Uh, how do you feel about it? Jeb seems to be pretty happy about this. Okay, so I think... Any second now... Seems that we're letting out a little bit of a broadcast there. Okay, so I just saw the little bit of jitter that means we're now in the atmosphere and that means that we are about to experience the most <laughs> stress inducing part of this which is re-entering without destroying anything we can't use our parachutes we're too high up and we're going too fast at this point it's kind of just praying that nothing goes too badly wrong at this point, we'll see that our periapsis is actually going down because of the amount of uh, friction with the air. The fact that that's happening also means that we are going to uh, see a little bit of heat on our heat uh, shield here any second now. <clears throat> okay, any second now, things are going to start getting very hot. Ooh, it's always stressful. 
We may actually nail this and hit the uh, crater. Maybe. You can see us moving in towards it. But I think our orbit's going to move further down. I don't think I aimed that. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> I didn't even know that was happening. Okay, well, it seems that we're holding up fine. We are on minimum time warp. Yep. Okay, so the ablator is actually going to be a problem. Hopefully, it has enough. We have 87 long seconds worth, pretty much. Oh, it's wearing through it. This is very worrying. Maybe I should have went for a shorter burn. Uh, and by burn, I mean actually burning in the atmosphere. But we are slowing down, so I think we are going to be fine. I think. I could be wrong here. If we can get down to about 1,500 meters per second before we run out of ablator, I think we're safe. Oh god, my heart rate is increasing. I'm actually slightly freaking out. It's okay. We are slowing down pretty quickly now. Also, the crater. Are we going to land on it? Eh. No. We're going to miss by a long shot. Whatever. You know, it, we're not going to worry about that. We're going to worry about our ablator. Thankfully, nothing is actually taking damage, which is rare when you have stuff sticking off of it like this. So that's a good thing. Uh, it seems that the use of a blader is slowing down. We've made it through the brunt of it. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, we had more than enough. I was freaking out for no reason. Whew. Okay, any second now we can deploy our parachutes. Pop goes the parachutes. Slowing us down to the point where we can be pretty much sure that we're fine as long as our main chute doesn't fail. Which won't happen. We're 13,000 meters above the ground. Make that 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three. Oh god, the glitchiness. This scares me so much seeing these giant pieces of land. Uh, but nope, that's just uh, KSB mods freaking out, and they will go away before we hit them. Okay, so once we hit uh, 500, we'll deploy the main shoot. Maybe, maybe 900. Maybe I don't want to be that risky. Oh god, I hate how close we get to hitting that. Deploying the main chute. Now we are slowing down. 500 meters above. I think we are good. 7 meters per second. It's a safe re-entry speed. Jeb seems to be very happy. We actually... Where is our electric? Okay, so we didn't get that close to running out of electricity either. So, everything is fine. And we're down. Can we EVA? Oh, we can. Can we get an EVA report? Yes, we can. Then we can just board again. Recover the vessel, and we did it, guys. We successfully orbited. Uh, that was actually quite beautiful. 48 science. Let's see what we can do with that. First off, we have a ton of money now. Uh, that gamble really did pay off. We should probably invest in basic science uh, to get batteries and antennas and other things that are very important for us to go far. Um, we're going to have to put a few satellites up to help us in future missions uh but other than that advanced rocketry let's go <clears throat> so because of these new uh technologies we may actually uh okay first off let's check out our contracts because they're going to be pretty interesting um 
I don't know what we we only have two active now, which are test the mark one cockpit and test the solid fuel uh, fuel <laughs> fuel booster orbiting Kerbin. Let's go to the vehicle assembly building. Look at our rocket now and see if we can change it at all to make it better. Uh, we definitely have new, very, very new solid boosters. What is the difference between these two though? So the Globe 6 gives us about 500 kilonewton. Oh, so there's a lot more thrust and barely less fuel. So there's actually zero reason not to use these instead. They also look slightly nicer. Now, when we compare this engine, this has a lot more thrust, uh, which we might want. Maybe we, how much fuel, what is its fuel efficiency is the question. This one gives 330-ish if we uh, average the other two, and it uses 11 per second. This one is... Okay, I'm going to have to do some math later to figure out which one's better, but I'm pretty sure this video is actually pretty much over now. Because our next mission is going to be a big one, depending on what we choose in the contracts. Yes, that's what I thought would pop up. Next video, we are going to be exploring the moon. Jebediah Kerbin better be ready. <laughs> is Jeb... Oh, Jeb has one star now. Congratulations, Jeb. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Leave us like and subscribe if you enjoyed this uh, episode of Kerbal Space Program. And I will see you all next time when we go and explore the moon. Peace.